I chose Durham uh, for lots of different reasons, really. It, it was the kind of the, both the traditional side of Durham and also it's sort of forward, forward looking. It's hard to put my finger on exactly what makes Durham so good, which I think is better in a way. It's just, it's just too good to describe properly in one sentence. <laughs> Outside of your subject, um, there are so many different social aspects you can get involved in. They help to create the person you'll be after university. The department's one of the most prestigious in the country. Durham's got a really good reputation. The good thing about here is you get a mix of cultural anthropology, um, evolutionary anthropology and also medical anthropology. So it kind of it mixes the biological with the social and you can kind of find your own way around it and find the right mix. And especially in third year, you can choose if you want to put an emphasis on the biological or the social. So it kind of it gives you more options for your career after university because you've got experience in both. Anthropology is one of those degrees where even if you're not sure what career you want to go into, you can use your interests and the skills you know you've learnt to carry on whatever interests you might have found. And it is very interesting to be able to take uh, views which seem quite polarised and see what, what they have in common. This is drawing on ethno ethnography really. Yeah. So you're having to research the stuff and then write it up and try and convey the meaning mm. to the audience that are going to have a look at it. You know, some arts do come about just because people are going to other countries to kind of get this snapshot of authentic culture, I suppose. And, you know, whereas others aren't. So I'm going to try and contrast that in this, but I wasn't expecting to find that. I did my dissertation on uh, um, mining development in Papua New Guinea, and I managed to go there. I chose to do my dissertation on something that was both socio-cultural and evolutionary based, so using the two very different sides of the discipline. I received a lot of support from, from Dr. St. Cassio, particularly um, on the socio-cultural side, yet um, I wasn't restricted to that. There was very much the opportunity to go and ask other members of the department. I'm looking at the effects of migration on, on child health um, among Bangladeshi girls as well as Bangladesh girls living in London and comparing them to white British girls living in the same areas. Because of the Wolfson Research Institute and because of, of Stockton, I'm doing biology as well as an anthropologist and I'm actually able to go into the lab and analyze the samples there. And this builds upon a lot of... Uh, the conference was, was organized by postgrads. It was an opportunity to be in a very professional setting but to allow people that may have haven't spoken or presented posters or information to, to, to an academic crowd. Um, and at the same time, I think a lot of undergraduates that have expressed interest in continuing their, their education were definitely invited to come. I'm definitely thinking of doing a Masters in Anthropology after this, and I'll probably stand at Durham just because the, the quality of teaching in the department is so good. And you're on the day I graduated that I didn't want to leave Durham, so I continued as a postgraduate. I think I've made some definite friends for life here. I remember coming to Durham for the first time um, and I got this feeling, you know when you just get that warm feeling, you just thought, no, this place is right and it, it just fits. It's, it's, yeah, it's been everything I've